Hey guys, this is Gavinelli, back with another Hackintosh video. <sighs> this one is long overdue. Um, I want to cover the basis of Hackintoshing a laptop. Um, I notice a lot of people don't give like really good tips on how to do this or go about this with zero mistakes. So here's my tips. Uh, as you see in the scrolling pictures, I've tested a few laptops and I've gotten a few to work. Some are limited, some are not. Some just don't work at all. Uh, one of the most important things you need to focus on is getting you a laptop with a supported GPU. And the only one off the top of my head I can think of is the X3100, the Intel X3100. Uh, I've also noticed that most laptops have a high success rate with onboard uh, uh, NVIDIA chips and there's quite a few with ATI uh, GPUs or video chips so anyway I found this old video to show you uh, what I had to do because if you just go out there and just grab a laptop not knowing what's gonna happen you're gonna end up doing what I did in this video so anyway this is an unreleased video this video is about uh, going on two years old now so here we go all right here we go again with another Hackintosh video first and foremost I want to tell you guys I'm sorry I took so long to bring you guys another video but uh, hopefully you like this one this is about my treat to you um, first things first I've re relocated in a completely different city and state so I've been moving and trying to get settled in my new home um, the first thing I did once I touched down here is uh, I went out and bought a laptop to Hackintosh the problem with my uh, previous laptop I had, which was a uh, which was a Hackintosh, was um, it was an AMD. It had an AMD processor in it. It was the Dell 15. No, Dell. What is it? Inspiron 1501. And um, it was cool until I got on the Amtrak one time, and I noticed that a couple people around me had MacBooks. So you know how us Hackintosh users are. We try to show off our our um, our our, uh, our prize. So I tried to show off mine, and uh, I noticed people was watching DVDs, and I couldn't watch a DVD with mine, because guess what? Quartz Extreme was not available on my uh, laptop, and if you're familiar with anything I've ever taught you, is you got to have Quartz Extreme enabled, or you can't do anything. So, the journey begins. So let's zoom away from this, or let me back up and show you what I got. All right. Okay, we got two laptops here. First one I bought when I got down here where I live is I bought this one. This is Dell Studio. I think it's Dell Studio 15 something something, whatever. I bought it. Um, I was in love with it because it had uh, everything that you see here was on this one. So when I try to Hackintosh it, when the install would go through, everything was fine until I reboot. And I, it just kept having panics. Look at me. I look good, don't I? Hee <laughs> hee. So anyway, it kept crashing. So I got fed up and went and got another one. I got this one. I didn't like the specs of it. So I took the stuff out, put it in here, hackintoshed it, and we good to go. It took a while. It was hell. Um, because every time I updated it, I lost my touchpad, I lost my keypad, and I had to keep going back. I had, to, luckily, I, I always do Time Machine, so I, I had everything in Time Machine. I kept going back, and it was hell. When I finally got it stable, once again, I had to stick with that operating system, if you can see that, 10.6.3. But I got to update everything else. Um, everything works fine. Wireless Ethernet works. Um, these little buttons here work. Um, some of these models have light lit up keys. I don't have that. I could purchase it on eBay, but you know I'm not that pressed. What else? Um, one thing that does not work. I know you can't see it. It's too dark here, but it's the uh, the SD memory. The memory card port, that does not work. The MMC card port and all that other crap. That doesn't work. Headphones work. Microphone works. Well, the microphone jacks. 
everything else works perfectly so I just want to let you guys know what I'm up to or what I've been into so keep that in mind this works good I have Quartz Extreme um, let's see I don't have to show y'all y'all already know if you if you see my other videos you already know so keep in mind you get this one Dale Studio let me close the lid so you can see get a good look at that it's nice it's nice to get um see there you go take a look at that all right it's nice to get but keep in mind it's hell it's hell trying to get it up and running well at least for me so hold on i gotta put this down y'all bear with me okay so keep that in mind if you ever, you know, get one of these Dell, two of these Dell machines, and one is better than the other, in some cases, you can uh, swap parts, swap processors. Uh, back in the day, you used to couldn't do that, so I was amazed. I was definitely amazed when I did it. So, just letting you guys know what you can do. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. So there you have it. The main tip is make sure your GPU is supported in your laptop. So don't just go out there and uh, spontaneously go and purchase a laptop just to uh, to build a Hackintosh. Well, not build, but Hackintosh it. Um, Google your ass off. You know, plan properly, just like you would do any other Hackintosh, and go out there and get one. So I would look for I would look for a laptop that would be uh, that would have the Intel HD three thousand or the uh, X3100 uh, GPU here's another thing you should know um, when you go to install whatever version of OS X you're trying to install most likely you're probably a shoot straight up to the top for Lion or the Mountain Lion developers preview um, many of you or some of you or a few of you might just you know try to stay on safe ground with Snow Leopard um, sometimes the installation doesn't go well and you need a different type of bootloader you can head on over to Tony Mac and he has a he has a bootloaders like iBoot and RBoot and uh, one of those two I think have a laptop edition exclusively for laptops so always uh, check and see if you know you might have to downgrade or upgrade your firmware for your BIOS in your laptop, sometimes that you know uh, 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 unsupported uh, BIOS or or what have you might keep your installation from going. So that's another tip you might want to follow. Um, if you got an old laptop just laying around the house, like uh like my HP NC6000, that's pretty old. That is a Pentium M. Uh, you can do something with it. Like I installed uh, OS X Tiger, which is 10.4.8, and currently I'm actually trying to install 10.4.11. Um, I can put Leopard on there, but then I lose Quartz Extreme. But uh, if I keep 10.4 in there, I keep Quartz, Quartz Extreme. Now. Being as though we're talking about Tiger, you might think, oh man, don't nobody use Tiger. But you'd be surprised, there's still people who who own uh, um, Mac G4s and G3s, and they still use these things like, you know, it's, it's relevant. But um, I use Tiger on my uh, on my Pentium M. I got, I got a Quartz Extreme, and it's, it's pretty good. I don't use it for anything, you know, for any main computing, but I use it. And uh, the rewards out of really taking some time out to learn what you're doing is you're learning more, you're getting more familiar with the whole Hackintosh process, um, and then you can pass on the information and contribute and take part of the, the circle of life. <laughs> but uh, that's it. I'm done. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one.